Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another new Avisa 3 video. We are trying today which fire the game released back in 2019 and have been updated to have like uh, DLSS, XCSS, FSR 1 and FSR 2. So the game feels pretty smooth in terms of gameplay or fighting and movement and every mechanics. So right now you can see my gameplay and I have not activated the mod and I'm playing on uh, 1080p and every other setting is on ultra here uh, every other setting is on ultra and on 1080p and yeah i'm getting around uh, 40 to 50 fps depending on scenarios and all so this uh, we got two zips today like uh, one is for rtx cards and one will be for uh, amd and gtx user both are stable both can use the dlss frame generation technology so yeah we're gonna start the modding right now so first uh, you'll need to download this to zip uh, depending on your pc uh, which fire for gtx and amd and which fire for rtx so first i'm gonna try the rtx zip and then i'm gonna try the gtx zip because i have the RTX 2060 GPU so this zip will work perfectly for me and also this one will work I will show you the steps and all so first we're gonna copy everything inside the directory to the installation directory of which fire uh, so here is the which fire installation directory so after opening the which fire installation directory we want to go to which fire binaries win64 and where the shipping.exe is located we're gonna paste everything right here so if you are a new user of uh, this mod uh, you will need to double click on the nvidia signature check and click on yes and then uh, you will need to run the game so yeah you can run the game from the desktop shortcut or the you know uh, installation directory wait my shortcut has been messed up so yeah we'll run it from here This game has no, uh, what do you say, a loading screen uh, after starting the game. Like you can see that the when I hit continue it loads up like instantly. You guys can already see that PS has boosted to 130. Uh, so if I go to video and like here you can see upscaler now it is set to uh, DLSS and frame generation has come online. So we're gonna also enable that and set the dlss to quality mode and everything was already on ultra like previous and yeah so the fps is now around 130 240 50 previously it was around 60 to 50 and sometimes even okay my stamina has ended that's why the screen is shaking uh, so previously it was around 50 and 60 and sometimes even dropping below uh, 50 to like uh, uh, higher 40 like 48 49 and now it's around 100 and 20 so it has boosted around like uh, three times i have to say and that's a massive boost and also it's very stable why is it taking only three damages are they like very high level enemies yeah now we're talking okay so this is the rtx zip we have tested successfully now we will go back and install the gtx slash amd mod also so yeah let's begin that so we're gonna quit the game and we're gonna first need to remove the previous files of the rtx mod so yeah we're gonna delete everything we have just pasted earlier this is my master skill you know it already like without seeing the zip deleting everything so after that we're gonna extract the gtx and amd zip so we're gonna open that and copy everything to the same directory uh, now we're gonna need to do an extra additional step which i will show you so first we're gonna run this dot exe then we're gonna close the cmd box and do the text edit so yeah i'll show you open it 
close the CMD window. Now we can see the FSR to FSR 3 config has appeared. Now we're gonna right click on it, go to open with, select notepad. We're gonna remove two things or modify two things. First is fake NVIDIA GPU to true. And after that, AMD Unreal Angel DLSS workaround. Delete the false and write it true. We're gonna file, save. Uh, one extra thing I have to tell you that if you can't see the frame generation, you will want to do one thing that is uh, replace the DLSS FG, copy the restless DLSS FG and remove this default and paste it here. Don't do it first. First, uh, do it like this. So first, just uh, change these two things and run the game and try if you can see the frame generation or not. If you can't see the frame generation, then do that, right? Like replace DLSS FG to the default area. So yeah, mm, we're gonna save it and then we're gonna run the game again. Okay, we're back in the game again. I'm just gonna get to that area again just to test the similarity in that case. And we have not activated the frame generation yet. So by default, you may have some hood flicker uh, if you are on GTX or AMD card. But the frame generation, is, uh, the hood flicker is not on the RTX card, so I can't really show you. But if you have the hood flicker, you need to just activate the frame generation from the setting and select the DLSS. And you come back to the game, and there you can see it's even further than the. Uh, previous model like uh, which was for RTX only but I have a little lower screen resolution yeah I was suspecting that but it will still be a little higher than the previous model I think yes uh, it's around 130 and 40 because uh, this is the FSR 3 this is not the DLSS 3 and you know FSR uh, seems to be boost FPS a little bit further than DLSS because it's the less stable than DLSS but it's still uh, like uh, uh, very good quality in terms of uh, shimmering and everything because FSR 2 is not that bad so yeah this uh, will be it guys uh, if this video helps you subscribe to the channel and if you face any kind of issue comment down below there are no enemies nearby uh, I think they ran away uh, after hearing that I am coming to kill them bad joke of the year worst joke of the year so yeah anyway uh thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy